Krishna said, O oh Arjuna, whenever there is decline of good and rise of evil, I manifest myself on earth to protect the good and to destroy the sin of sinners and to reaffirm virtues and religion, I am born from age to age. Darshan, to have sight of, to behold a holy man. Sai Baba comes, all eyes look towards him, each heart is full of joy. Time stands still as he comes nearer. We are face to face with the formless one, the eternal one, the one without attributes who has now taken a form and a name to re-establish righteousness and relieve the agony of mankind. His lotus feet are before us. Rade Mukunda Murari Rade Mukunda Murari Rade Mukunda Murari Sai Baba says, if one sings bhajans, songs of devotion to God, with love, I shall be found in front, back, and on all sides. Those devotees who are attached to me, heart and soul, will naturally feel happiness when they hear these songs. says, come and stay and move with me and experience my company and listen to me and watch me and then form your own conclusions. You cannot grasp the full significance of the avatar or stand the full splendor without a period of preparedness. Therefore, I reveal to you only small installments of the glory like the creation of the booty act. The booty, materialized by a gentle wave of his hand, is Baba's own special gift, his unique means of alleviating man's physical and mental ills. He gives the holy ash because that is the ultimate form that things take. Men and women come from all over the world, groaning under the heavy burden of worldly cares and problems. Guilt-conscious persons seeking divine forgiveness, aspirants of the spirit in search of a supremely self-realized being, others anxious for some token of compassion, and still others in grave need of some earthly benefit, they are all here to receive Sai Baba's darshan. Baba knows each individual among the crowd. He can probe into each person's inner depths understand each devotee's needs and problems. Each devotee is full of hope that Baba will have a special word of solace, perhaps bestow a gesture of love and compassion, or produce by a wave of his hand the divine healing of a booty ash.
తరాలలో యుగ యుగములుగా తలములుగా దివ్యాత్మ స్వరూప స్టూడెంట్స్ టీచర్స్ those who are concerned with the management of education manam jeevitam nundu nitya satyamulu gatakasinchu prachina sampradayamulu samskrutini kaalam gudiyanga the purpose of all education to recognize what is a permanent and unchanging truth in man's life to find the unchanging truth in our ancient culture and if necessary change it to suit the present conditions and to be able to use it as a guideline for our life and reach happiness and prosperity shanti ka mudu cheptu ashanti ki sambandhinchinatundi ki aatinchinatundi aatma vanchu vanchakulanu kontha varaku nilabetti nikka teesi vaaki saririkunti prabodha salipetundi oka sthitilo untundali vidya prabodha there are several people who talk of peace but who practice war these people are deceitful those who have true education they should be in a position to be able to recognize people who talk peace and who wage war and control them to a certain extent I have come to spread happiness so I am always ready to walk among you as often as you want me shed just one tear I shall wipe a hundred from your eyes I bless you that your joy may grow out of the millions you have gained this contact through your good luck let the desire to realize your true self sprout in you I shall see that it grows and gives fruit provided you yearn and try
Sai Baba's love is undiminishable. One of his most moving declarations is that though men disregard him, look upon him with doubt, are ungrateful and do not recognize him, his care, love and solicitude will never abate. Many beseech him for autographs. They offer garlands of flowers and other gifts. I do not want your offerings, he gently reprimands them. Offer your heart's purity to me. That is enough for me. He often tells people that he is not a taker, but a giver. His generosity is as vast as the ocean. Baba says, I am the servant of everyone. I am not an independent person. My movements depend upon the devotion of my devotee. Sai Baba's miracles, which are the spontaneous expression of his divinity, are evident in his presence as well as where his physical presence is not observed. They are not for advertisement or publicity. Baba says, these miracles, as you call them, are but means towards the establishment of Dharma, righteousness, which is my task. The miraculous cures that Baba effects when his grace is sought after are also incidental and secondary according to him. He says the removal of misery and distress is not the main plank of my mission. My task is not merely to cure, console, and remove individual misery. It is far more important. My main task is to promote, preserve, and propagate Sanatana Dharma, the ancient path of righteousness. Thank you.
Baba has said, if you spread your palms with devotion before me, I am immediately with you day and night. Though I am here bodily, still I know what you do beyond the seven seas. Go wherever you will over the wide world, I am with you. My abode is in your heart, and I am with you. Worship me always, who is seated in your heart, as well as in the hearts of all beings. Blessed and fortunate indeed is he who knows me thus.